This will be the gayest of all the gayest Doctor Whoses ever. Oh my. Doctor Who's. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi. Thank you so much. Why am I? Who am I thanking? I'm thanking me. I am Mecca. Who are you? Why are you here? Nobody's here yet. Nobody's here. Yet. <laughs> Bring out their dead. Nobody's dead yet. They're they're not going to. We're gonna piss off the gays by mocking the gayest of the Doctor Who's ever. Oh my. From Doctor Who themselves. Why does he look like Mrs. Doubtfire? Why? Neil Patrick Harris is going to be in Doctor Who now. Because he has to play Mrs. Doubtfire? <laughs> is this a thing? Because more diversity. Because he's more diversity. This is the gay Doctor Who for the gays. Oh my. Because they had the one for the whammon, which didn't hit it with me because I don't want to see myself in Doctor Who unless I'm like being whisked away by a doctor who's like fun and interesting and you'd feel a little a little taboo for for wanting to to do the giggity with or something and that's just today's interpretation of it i'll change my mind tomorrow but anytime i do talk about doctor who i don't want to be whisked away with mom and grandpa and the cop who's keeping an eye on the troubled teen is that what's happening here that's what the, the last few seasons have been i have not watched the flux stuff i couldn't make it through any of it hardly i tried to watch the easter was it easter it was an easter special one and i couldn't make it through that one either for some reason so maybe with stephen moffat coming back it'll at least be watchable interesting it will be something that people will want to see and i am kind of curious to see what they do with mrs doubtfire here i am frau doubtfire i mean why not so we got the the neil patrick harris <laughs> joining what is this costume who is he playing benjamin franklin harriet tubman like what is going <laughs> this is the moon is full tonight that is why everything's weird and wrong right right Neil Patrick Harris. you know what he's fun though he's good at everything he's in Emmy and Tony Award winner and actor and comedian Neil Patrick Harris joins the cast of Doctor Who Doctor what star of stage and screen and still the stigma of Doogie Hauser despite years and years of shedding the image. Well, he is the only choice for Pride Month, right? Happy Pride Month. We're gonna piss off the gays all, all episode, probably. Oh my. Because we gotta talk about Christina Aguilera's thing, and I can't do a short video on it without getting demonetized because of what she did. Oh, she knows what she did. She made it impossible for YouTubers to talk about without having to beg for donations. And we do have the jiggle cam just for that thing. So if people are not buying into all of the doom and gloom doomsday people, and people are still in a position to donate, we do appreciate it and we work for tips here. So now, Neil Patrick Harris, star of stage screen and odd choices of costume he's gonna be from the old timey days he's gonna be from the 1800s isn't he is now going to be in the doctor who cast and is currently filming scenes set to air in 2023 as part of the show's 60th anniversary oh good on him russell t davies showrunner said it's my huge honor to open our studios to the doors studio doors to the mighty neil patrick harris but who why and what is he playing you'll just have to wait I already told you, Mrs. Doubtfire. He's playing Mrs. Doubtfire. We can tell. I am so a woman. Probably some sort of old-timey surgeon. Those are doctor equipments. That's that's doctor things. These are doctor things from the old-timey days that are in his... That's Or or pliers. But then again, is he a dentist? He's going to yank out people's teeth with dentistry tools from the 1800s. That's what he's playing. I promise you the stuff we're shooting now is off the scale. Doctor beware. Doctor beware. Oh, here you go. And Davros's evil moments, the monarchy in the history of the Doctor Who's, gotcha, gotcha, and news on the new Doctor and Rose. Oh yeah, we, we I did a video on this. I don't know if it ever made it to air, but we did talk about this live. David Tennant and Catherine Tate are gonna come back, which is great because they were my favorites of the modern era. New uh, Doctor Who's new companion, Ben Franklin. Why not? Why not? 
flying around with this dude, right? Well, what could possibly go wrong? You know, they're gonna pander to the gays. They're gonna pander to all this stuff. Here's the other one they're using to pander. This this woman, Yasmin Finney, is she trans? Is that why she was she was chosen? Is that it? Was that it? I believe, probably, as part of the diversity and inclusion initiative, that the more boxes you can check, I mean, she's probably a great actress, right? She's probably wonderful, but I think that we found out after the fact that she was a, an additional... Does this really, really Rose? Because I, when I did a video on this, it was just rumored to be Rose. It wasn't official, it was actually Rose Tyler. So is Rose Tyler now... In another dimension. I don't even, like seriously. I am. I think I'm desensitized to this. I think they've done their job and desensitized people because I'm. I'm basically to the point now where if you tell me, okay, Rose Rose Tyler is now a black trans woman, what am I gonna say? I can't be offended. I can't be shocked. And, and it's more of a, I'm to the point now where there is no point in being shocked. It's like, yeah, yeah, we're kind of at a point in history, and this is segueing into the Christina Aguilera video, I think, which we'll get into in a second. We're at the point in history where we're doing as much as we can just to shock and outrage the other side. But as somebody who doesn't like either, in in many ways and doesn't agree with either in many ways and agrees with both in many many ways right i i i am kind of stepping back and being amused at the lengths that people are going to go to to shock the other to shock and get back at and one up i am shocked and appalled to the point of which they make rose tyler a black trans woman and and we're gonna get into what christina aguilera did as soon as we wrap up this portion i am mecca and you know if, if neil patrick harris if neil patrick harris is gonna be in the new doctor who sure why not he's always been pretty good he's always been really good in everything right what could possibly go wrong? I mean, how much of this are they doing just for outrage bait and outrage marketing just to get people to kind of reinvigorate and get reinterested? Because as you see with with everything, the trend of the outrage marketing even is on a downward swing. It is on its way out. People are losing interest in it. People are less likely to be outraged by what current, oh, you're an istophobe in entertainment now, and they're on to, you know, celebrity defamation cases or they're on to you know oh who got doxxed or who got swatted or this or that they're on to the other outrage because outrage and entertainment has really really run its course hasn't it so <laughs> that's that's kind of where I'm at I'm kind of I'm kind of taking a step back and seeing all of the funsies that we're having taking shots at each other I am Mecca I'm going back to my live chat don't you guys go anywhere Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! They'll be back!